Om Shanti. Welcome to 2nd of January's Godly Blessing. Supreme Father wants us to become karmatit. He wants us to remove our selfish motives while doing any karma or while being in connection with people. Let's understand this. God says, may you become karmatit like the Father and remain free from any selfish motives in both your activity and your relationships. The service of you children is to liberate everyone and not to bind them into kind of any kind of karmic accounts. So while liberating others, do not tie yourself in any bondage. How do we tie ourselves? If you have done something for somebody, if you are doing something in the field of karma, obviously we do something for people, people do for us, then we have some kind of expectations from them. Whether it's financial, whether it's through words, whether it's through appreciation, whether it's through name, fame or something like that. Then God says, then you are tying yourself in a bondage. When you become free from any uh, any limited mind, you will be able to experience the awake stage. Mind, my idea, mind, this is mine. I had given them, I had shown them how to do it. And when we get stuck into this mind, God says, then you do not experience the awake stage. That means... A vyakt means that you are able to connect to the Supreme Creator, a bodiless stage, a lighter stage. The children who are free from any selfish motives in both their physical and their spiritual worlds and in their activity and their relationships are able to experience the karmatid stage like the father. So, no selfish motives in both physical world and the spiritual worlds. So, a vyakt means spiritual. So, check to what extent you have been able to become free from any bondage of karma. Are you liberated from being influenced by a wasteful nature or sanskar? That means something happens and we get into why, when, what, where, how, that kind of sanskar. Why did that person do this? Why, sh why didn't he do like this? I wanted him to do this. Uh, it was my idea, my way. And that person did not accept it, did not go as per that. See, now what happens? So these are the old habits and old behaviors or old dialogues which we use. So God says, are you still using them? You are not sometimes influenced by your past nature or sanskars, are you? So God is asking us whether we have those impure sanskars, impure behaviors or have we reformed ourselves? And what is that reformation is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. Om Shanti.